Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Fine Fluency and um, I'm here with your first mini lesson. I've decided to focus on Los Saludos, Los Saludos in Espanol for your first lesson. So we're hopefully going to be able to greet people uh, um, accurately in Spanish. We're going to be able to say hello and look at different greetings for different times of the day and be able to use them properly. And that's linked to our weekly challenge this week, so some of you will be familiar with the language already. I am assuming that you are all beginners. We are in a beginners group, so I'm starting at the very beginning for you. Decided not to do pronunciation this week because I feel like if we do greetings, it really gets you talking, it gets you communicating, and you come away from the, the lesson feeling like you've really achieved something um, and that you can do something in Spanish. Whereas we, we do pronunciation and you may, may feel at the end of the lesson that you know how to make sounds, but you can't really say words. So I think for our first lesson, let's really start on a positive note and let's have a look at greetings in Spanish. Los saludos. Empezamos. Okay, vale. En esta lección vamos a aprender. Just try and sort this for you. Vamos a aprender. So in this lesson, we're going to learn cómo decir hello por la mañana por la tarde y por la noche. So different ways of saying hello for different times of day, la mañana in the morning, la tarde, the afternoon or the evening, and la noche at night time. Como pedir qué tal y como responder. So how to ask how somebody is, qué tal, um, how's it going, and also how to answer that question. And lo que necesitas, so what you need for this lesson is really simply un boli, un lapiz y papel. So a pen or a pencil and maybe some paper as well. Okay, so that's all you need to, to do this successfully today. And a good attitude, obviously. So, los saludos. First one, start really basic, really simple. Hola. So repetimos, let's repeat it. Hola. Hola. So you will notice that I am not pronouncing the H, right? We do not say hola, we say hola. You may know that already, we all know that. And a lot of people actually, a lot of British people um, already write um, hola with an O-L-A without the H because it sounds like that. It does have the H, but it's, it's silent there. Most H's at the beginning of Spanish words are silent. There are a few exceptions. We don't need to know them right now. Um, but let's just say they're silent if they're at the beginning of a word. And it's hola. Now, this is hello, and we can use that any time of the day or night, okay? So that's your go-to, your get-out-of-jail-free card. If you're not sure which one to use, use hola. You're not going to go wrong, okay? Then we've got buenos días. Repeat that one then. Buenos días. And that one is good morning, okay? So, or good day, really. Día means day, so you could say good day. It's quite formal and old-fashioned, but buenos días, good morning, good day. And we use that up until about 2 p.m., 2 p.m. in the afternoon, which is usually lunchtime in Spain. We usually have quite a late lunch, um, and we use buenos días up to this point, okay? Then we use buenas tardes. Let's repeat that one. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. And that's our good afternoon or good evening. Usually we see that one up until about eight o'clock at night. So it can be good afternoon or good evening. Then we have buenas noches. Buenas noches. And that is good night. Okay, buenas noches. Good night. And we use that after eight o'clock at night. All right. So later on in the evening, if we're meeting up with friends or we even want to say good night to somebody, like you're going to your bed, you're going to go to sleep, we use buenas noches. Right, saying goodbye to people then. We can use hasta luego. Hasta luego. Again, we see our little rule with our silent H. We're not saying hasta. It's hasta luego. See you later. Hasta luego. If it's somebody that you see regularly, it's likely you're going to see them the next again day. We can also say hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. And you will notice that my middle N there, the first N in the word, the word mañana, has a little accent above it. And that means that our N makes a new sound, okay? So again, for our absolute beginners, the N with a little accent above it goes new, right? Hasta mañana, hasta mañana. See you tomorrow. 
And again, a bit like hola, we also have adios, adios, repeating that one, adios, and that is just goodbye. So it's a bit like hola, we can kind of use that anytime uh, and get away with that one, okay? So quick recap there, we've got buenos dias, good morning, buenas tardes, good afternoon, good evening, buenas noches, good night, hasta luego, see you later, hasta mañana, see you tomorrow, adios, goodbye, and obviously our catch-all, hola. Okay, so your first little exercise then, let's see if you can apply that rule. The rules that we've just been talking about, about times of day and what we would use when, right? So no pressure. Let's see if you can remember. So which greeting would you use in the following situations? And you've got the option here. You can either just say them in Spanish as we're going through. And we can't hear you. Nobody can hear you. So you can't embarrass yourself. Uh, so say them in Spanish or you can write them down. Okay. So our first one, if you meet your friend for a tapa and a drink at seven o'clock at night, which one are we going to use? Have a think about it. Say it or write it down. Scenario two. You meet up with a friend for coffee at 9.30 in the morning. Which greeting or which saludo would we use here? Say it or write it down. Scenario three. You're walking home from dinner around 11 o'clock at night, 11 p.m., and you bump into friends. Which greeting could we use there? What would be accurate? What would be correct? Say it or write it down. Well done. Completed your first exercise in Spanish. Hopefully it wasn't too painful. So las soluciones, answers to that then. First scenario was our meeting for a tapa and a drink at seven o'clock at night, yeah? And we would use buenas tardes for our first one, okay? Second one was meeting for a coffee in the morning and we're going to use our buenos dias here, buenos dias. Right, so that's our good morning, good day one. And then number three, we're going to use buenas noches. That was our coming home at 11 o'clock at night and bumping into friends. So it's after eight o'clock at night. That's quite late on. We're going to use buenas noches. Hoping that you got all of those correct. Okay, well done. Right, moving on. So after we've met up with someone and met up with a friend, we might then greet them in Spanish. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and so on. And then the next thing naturally to ask somebody would be, how are you? How's it going? How are you getting on? So a nice informal way of saying this in Spanish would be to use, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? You will notice that we've got a Q-U at the beginning of that word. I am not pronouncing it qu, okay? Q-U in Spanish is not pronounced qu. So don't say qu here or que. We say, ¿Qué tal? Q U is a K sound, okay? So, ¿qué tal? How are you? How's it going? Right? Nice and informal and chatty. ¿Qué tal? So, how's it going? ¿Qué tal? Another sort of informal way of asking someone, how are you getting on? How are you? Is, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? I would try and repeat that one. ¿Cómo estás? And that one means, how are you? And informal again. Slightly more formal way of saying it. Now, we're not going to go into exactly why. We have a slightly different way of saying it here um, just yet. Okay, we'll get there, but not today. Starting you off slowly but gently. But if you maybe bump into somebody that you don't know that well or um, you're in a bit more of a formal situation, right? We're not just meeting our pal for a coffee. Um, you would use, como esta? Como esta, without the S there, okay? So, como estas, informal, it's your friend, it's chatty, it's informal. Como esta, more formal, somebody that you don't know, okay? Again, just means how are you? Right, answering that question then. So, to answer any of these, que tal, como estas, como esta? We're going to use um, one of the verbs to be in Spanish, and it's estar, and we're going to say I am, Okay. So the way we're going to say that is estoy, estoy, I am. So repeat that one, estoy. And then we might want to add on, bien gracias, estoy bien gracias. Estoy bien gracias. That means I'm well, thanks, 
right? So, estoy bien, gracias, I'm well, thanks. We could say, estoy muy bien, gracias. Estoy muy bien, gracias. And that one is, I'm very well, thank you. Now, you might want to try and just repeat that muy, right? After me, my students have a lot of problems with this word. They look at it and they want to say moi, moi. Really doesn't sound good, okay? So what I say, obviously, I'm Scottish and I, I say to a lot of my students, it's like the word we, you know, going for a wee walk, but you're just putting a m in front of it. So it's muy, muy, muy bien, gracias. So just watch that one, have a practice and try not to get put off by the way it looks, okay? Next one, hopefully we won't be saying this. Mal, okay? Mal. Nice and easy to say, but it means bad. Estoy mal, right? You could say, no estoy bien. I'm not good. Estoy mal. I'm bad. Okay? Next one, I use this one a lot. <laughs> eh, cansado or cansada. Estoy cansado. Estoy cansada. So if you're a male, you're going to use cansado with an O. If you're a female, you're going to use cansada, okay? It's an adjective, it's describing you, it's describing how you feel. So if you're male, it's masculine, cansado. If, it's, if you're female, it's feminine, cansada. And that's tired, okay? Estoy fatal. I'm really not good. I'm terrible. Estoy fatal. Terrible. What a terrible day. Um, fatal. This is an interesting one. I put this one in because you may not have heard it before. It's a little bit different. And you wouldn't say, estoy voy tirando. You would just say, voy tirando. Okay? And it kind of means, oh, I'm getting by. You know, I'm still here. I'm alive and kicking. I'm all right. I'm okay. Um, so it's sort of like a so-so one, right? When you look up so-so in, in Spanish, it quite often gives you like, estoy regular and things like that. And I don't really like that. Um, I think this is quite nice, boy tirando. It's a bit more colloquial, makes you sound a bit more Spanish, and it's quite a nice thing to use. If you look up the verb tirar in the dictionary, it actually says to pull, so it literally means I'm going pulling, but it, it doesn't mean that at all. It's a colloquial little um, idiomatic expression, which means I'm okay, I'm getting by, okay? Boy tirando. And again, you'll notice the V there, I'm pronouncing as a B. Boy tirando, okay? Well done. Last thing here, if you want to ask somebody how they are without saying que tal, como estas, you could just tag, that, tag this on to the end of your, um, of your answer, right? So you can just say, y tú, y usted. So if it's your friend and it's someone you know quite well, and they say, como estas, que tal, you could say, si, sí, estoy bien, gracias. Y tú, and you, how are you? If it's, again, a more formal situation, you're not going to say, y tú, you're going to say, y usted. And you, it's the more formal way of saying, and you, what about you, right? So repeat after me. Y tú, and you. Y usted, and you. Okay? Right, so this time, escuchamos, right? So I'm going to say a few answers to the que tal como estas question, right? And I want you to try and write down. I'm going to say them in Spanish. I want you to try and write them down. So this is um, a little listening practice exercise, which I've been asked for by you guys. right? And I want you to try and write down in English what it is that I'm saying in Spanish. Okay? So I'm going to say it in Spanish, and you're going to write it down in English. So this really tests your comprehension, which is a skill you're going to have to use every day if you're in Spain or you're using your Spanish in real life. You're going to talk to people, great, brilliant, but you also have to be able to understand what they're saying back to you, okay? So I'm going to give five possible answers to this que tal, como estas question, and I want you to write down what I'm saying in English, okay? Have a go. Get what you can, don't worry if you can't get them all at this stage, and I will repeat them, okay? So I'll go through them all and I'll say them all at least twice and give you a little chance. Right, first one, number one. Estoy muy bien, gracias. Estoy muy bien, gracias. Okay, so what is that one in English? Estoy muy bien, gracias. Number two here. Estoy cansada, y tú? 
Number two again. Estoy cansada. ¿Y tú? Number two, last time. Estoy cansada. ¿Y tú? Number three then. Estoy mal. No estoy bien. Again. Estoy mal. No estoy bien. Last time, number three. Estoy mal. No estoy bien. Okay, doing well. Just keep going. Number four. Sí, voy tirando. Number four again. Sí, voy tirando. Last time, number four. Sí, voy tirando. And last one, number five. Estoy bien, gracias. Estoy bien, gracias. Number five, last time. Estoy bien, gracias. Okay, well done. Got through your first uh, Spanish uh, listening exercise with me, so that's excellent. Well done. And don't worry if you didn't get them all, right? It's practicing. You will get used to my voice as well, and sometimes it's good to hear different people's voices because obviously in real life, not everybody sounds like me and so on and so forth, but it's just good practice to consolidate what we're learning here. So, soluciones, uh, answers to that then. Our first one was, estoy muy bien, gracias. I'm very well, thanks. Second one, estoy cansada, ¿y tú? I'm tired, what about you? Number three, I'm bad, I'm not good. Estoy mal, no estoy bien. Number four, sí, voy tirando. I'm okay, I'm getting by. Number five, I'm good, thanks. Estoy bien, gracias, I'm good, thanks. Okay, so how did you go on? Give yourself a little mark, a little tally and see how you got on, see if you can beat your mark the next time. Well done if you got full marks. Okay, I'm including the transcript for that little exercise just in case it's of use to you, okay? In case you want to go back over it and check it or anything at a later date. So I'm including that trans transcription or the transcript in Spanish for you. Okay, I thought sometimes it's useful to have that. So uh, I'm just giving you that one, okay? Right, so a little recap. Hoy hemos aprendido. So today we learned, right? What we've learned today in our little mini lesson, first mini lesson. Hoy hemos aprendido. Los saludos. So greetings for different times of the day and night in Spanish. Okay. Como pedir que tal? Como estas? How to ask how you are in Spanish. Y como responder? How to answer that question, right? So we've gone over, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches, um, hasta luego, hasta mañana, adios. Uh, we've gone over how to ask, qué tal and cómo estás, asking how you are, cómo está, formal version. And also how to answer that, estoy bien, no estoy bien, estoy mal, estoy cansado, estoy cansada, and so on. Okay. So, los deberes, a little bit of homework for you. What could you do to consolidate your learning, right? Um, let's see what you could maybe do to consolidate it. So, are there more ways of saying hello, goodbye, and see you later? Are there more ways of saying that, that you know, that we've not covered in this lesson? There, there are, there's loads. Um, but I'm trying to keep our mini lessons realistic so that you follow them. So, try and keep it nice and snappy. How do you say please, thank you, and you're welcome? So we've seen thank you in this lesson. How do we say please? How do you say you're welcome to somebody? Um, and are there more answers that you could give to the question, que tal or como estas? Okay. Thank you so, so much. Muchísimas gracias for joining my first mini lesson. I hope that it's been useful for you and you've learned something from it. Um, and hopefully we'll check in with you guys through the week with our Palabra del Día and our weekly challenge, and hopefully get another little mini lesson out to you next weekend. Eh, muchas gracias. Y adiós.